Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Verodette, your angel in the autosphere. Thank you for joining me tonight for this extra spooky special. Autopunk is here with me tonight. Hi. And we'll be unboxing 37 different Hot Wheels, including the vintage Halloween Highway series from 2002 to 2003, the original Bone Shaker, and some spooky theme mainline cars. We'll be using the acetone method today to unbox everything, which if you're unaware, is just using acetone or nail polish remover on the back of the card to remove the adhesive. Let's begin with the Halloween Highway series, all the way from 2002, some from 2003. So I bought this set specifically for this car, specifically for her, so let's get right into it. Let's read the back here. Our Halloween Highway vehicles are a bewitching series of boulevard bruisers that will scare the goo out of a ghoul by being faster than a bat out of, well, it's hot cave. This will be my first time using the acetone method. So here's our first one. I love the art on the side here. Oh, this is beautiful. Who is Lisa? It's gorgeous. Gold and blue. Amazing color combination. What is it called? It says on the bottom here, Tail Dragger. Tail Dragger. 1997. I absolutely love this car. Oh, this one's gorgeous. The extra long supercar look. Fentanyl 400 limit. Phantom 2003 on the side here. <laughs> oh, this one's funny. Seymour, Seymour Creeps. Creeps. What does that say? Creeper features. Oh, I love the top. I've got the Hot Wheels Halloween logo on the bottom here. 1988 on the bottom. Wow. No kidding. <laughs> Very and cool. The Fantastique. 1999. Looks like Frankenstein. Or Frankenstein's monster, rather. Dr. Von Auto. Very cool. This one reads 41 Willies. The art on these cars is so detailed. What do we got? Oh, staying with the Von Autos theme, Von Autos Monster. <laughs> Look at that. They really don't make them like this anymore. The bottom reads Dairy Delivery. Dairy Delivery. It's a dairy truck. You My only thought that. was a bank robbing truck. <laughs> Reads 1997. Oh, so this looks like a surf crate, which is one of the 2023 treasure hunts, except it's bright pink, which I absolutely love. Um, but this one is really, really cool. I Ooh. love the art. It's gorgeous. I love these colors. Preacher of El Segundo. That's... Screecher. Screecher, of course. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. Screecher del Gundo. So is that like a play on El Segundo? Must be. Wow, these are also cool. Legend of... Legend of the Swamp Skitter. I'm not usually a fan of this style, but the colors are perfect. The bronze with the gold and the green. It's honestly a beautiful color combination. You really don't see a lot of paint jobs like this. So this one reads 56 Ford. 1999. Oh wow. And this one is absolutely gorgeous. Looks like it says Nosfermoto. <laughs> Nosfermoto. Gosh, that is gorgeous. Let's see, the bottom reads Evil Twin. Hmm. Year 2000. Oh, I think this is definitely going to be one of my favorites. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Looks like we've got the Drac Racer. Wow, this is amazing. Bubble winch. So you have coffin. a view from your coffin. Now that's a coffin with a view. 
Doesn't look like there's any name printed on the model. Reads 1994. Very cool. I love the little bat. Love the details on this one. Next up we have Ride of the Driving Dead. <laughs> what a ridiculous name. I love it though. Definitely over the top. This is very cool. I'm loving the art here. Looks like Phantom Corsair is the model. Phantom Corsair. 1998. This one is hefty. This one is definitely <laughs> heavy in the hand. This could be a this could be a uh, weapon of self defense. <laughs> <laughs> a pocket car. This one looks pretty similar to the other green van, but it's a little smaller. I'm not seeing a model name, but it's definitely giving a vintage kind of vibe. Ooh, this might be my favorite so far. Dawn of the Road Zombies. Y'all can read that. Let me know what it Usually says. <laughs> Wow, okay. Must be a bunch of designers' names or something. I wonder if there are any Easter eggs on this tombstone here. <laughs> if anyone knows the meaning of those names, let us know. That's really interesting. Next up we have the Highway Howler. Wow. Holy cow. Absolutely beautiful. I love the angles on this one. Looks like a 57 Roadster. This next one is very interesting. Wow. Looks like it says Bad Moon. Bad Moon. Lots of werewolf vibes. It's almost, it's a, it's a drag racer with a truck bed. I can barely make out what it says. I think it says Scream and Holler. Scream and Holler. <laughs> Which we love that for a Halloween car. Oh, I think this is definitely going to be one of my favorites. Except, that's an interesting way to spell Pharaoh. I wonder if there's a story behind that. This is so cool. This orange. Ooh. It doesn't look like we have a model name on this one. It looks like that says 1986. Reminds me a lot of the Food Truck series. I love how most of these have this Halloween Hot Wheels logo on them. Modified and mummified. Modified and mummified. I love that. Very cool. More super detailed art. I really like this art. Wow. Let's see what this we have fantastic. on the bottom. Oh, just simply the demon. Mm -hmm. Got this really interesting Hot Wheels vintage logo Ooh. printed on the bottom. And interesting. The date is reading... 1969 so that's really interesting interesting very cool i'm a fan of the demon yeah this one is really cool this is an insanely cool collection and now let's move on to the og bone shaker this is part of the 2006 first edition series so many iconic cars released during that time including fan favorites like the nissan sylvia the 69 corvette the datsun 240z and so many more. Cool. I love the simplicity of the design. I know. It's very minimal, but I, I really appreciate that. Like, it's very clean. It's very old school. And the skull and crossbones is just, like, chef's kiss. And here she is, the first edition Bone Shaker. It's, it's less shiny and artificial looking than the newer ones. You know, that's a great point. Oh, look at that. There is, like, a little bit of gold. Absolutely beautiful model. Cool variant. I really like this gold variant. The stripe work is so nice. Next up we have my personal favorite, the black and red variant. Wow. Very cool. Same as the gold, just black and red. And this has what you were talking about, that more artificial, like super brushed chrome look. Hmm. I can see how it's appealing. It definitely has an appeal, but personally I think I'm leaning more towards this more natural look. Mm -hmm. And it's very interesting, these two in hand, this original Bone Shaker is a lot heavier in hand than this more recent one from I think 2022. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, you can tell that uh, this Bone Shaker, the newer model, uses a lot more plastic parts. 
This is this original one is almost full metal. Really? And last for the Bone Shaker series. I actually love the white wheels on these. Oh yeah. That really brings the look together. We can definitely see a lot more utilization of plastic parts with the chrome finish. Definitely an indicator that the quality has gone down somewhat over the years. Now onto the Day of the Dead series. I love this card art. It's honestly really beautiful. I also noticed recently that it has a slight variation. You can see here that the cars in the background are actually different. That's not something I had noticed before in the store. First up out of the Day of the Dead series, we have the 2016 Camaro SS. I absolutely love the art on these. I think the colors are so gorgeous. I know they're not for everyone, but love the skulls, love the flowers. Oh, I absolutely love these. The skull wheels, the color combination is amazing. Next up we have the 2014 Corvette Stingray. Again, absolutely beautiful art on these. Mm -hmm. Very Again, partial to oh, the pink wheels. Pink skull wheels, absolutely perfect. And next up we have the 71 Maverick Grabber. It really lets the intricate line work shine, the contrast, very nice. I'm a really big fan of these art cars. We love artists and ultimately we feel that's what these cars are, is they're an expression of art. And next from the Day of the Dead series, we have the King Kuda. Mm, definitely the, the most minimal of the collection. Definitely the most minimal, but also looks like the most horsepower. <laughs> and the final car from the Day of the Dead series is the 33 Ford Low Boy. This one definitely seems tiny but mighty. Just a hunk of metal, a wedge of metal on wheels. Definitely the most detailed art, I think, out of all five. And it's absolutely beautiful. And now onto the main lines. I found these three packs at Walmart last month and I decided to scoop them up just for this video. Like this one is literally a spider. And this one looks like a bat wing, so let's crack them open and see. <laughs> well, yeah, it is a spider. It's a spider, all right. That is very cool. I love it. it actually has some really nice detail for the tarantula fur. The speed spider. Speed spider. Very straightforward. That is exactly <laughs> what it is. Also included in this three pack, we have the formulator. And wow, this thing is scary. It's giving faceless, you know. This one is really interesting. Um, I'm not sure how you would see out of the front. It's, it's actually scary for that reason. <laughs> and this next three pack, let's see. Oh, so it's not a bat wing, it's more spider legs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the spider's head right there. Oh, wow, no kidding. I didn't even notice that. Looks like Street Creeper. Straight creeping. This three pack had two others included. I actually really like mm -hmm. this Volkswagen. A ghost from the past. Classic beetle with a moonroof. It's gorgeous. Uh, we don't see too many beetles anymore. You also don't see too many models nowadays that actually have the emblem filled in and the headlights filled in. That's so true. If you buy premium, you definitely see that, but in mainlines, not so much. This thing, I yeah, love it. It's, I've never it's seen hilarious. this before. It looks like it should, uh, it looks like a kickback. Like it should wind up and zoom. Rocket box. Oh, Rocket what a name. box. Moving on to more mainlines. I found this one at Target just the other day and I was so excited because it's honestly so cool. The green color, this is the best green I've seen so far. The metal flake. We've got the spider webs. Eyeball. Definitely a gorgeous recolor of the way in Lowrider. Of course we couldn't film this without including at least one of the like 12,000 Batman mainline cars that exist. Like no hate to Batman, we love Batman, but <laughs> wow. 
so does Mattel, apparently. Like, I think there's been, like, <laughs> over 50 different Batmobiles produced over the years, so shall we? <laughs> this one in particular is the Batman Forever Batmobile. Oh, yeah. Iconic. It even has the the super jet engine with the blue flames. Iconic scene. And it's bats, so Halloween oh, yeah. bats. Now, this Mazda here I included... Uh, because it's black and orange, which are the official colors of Halloween. I don't make the rules. That's just how it is. She is gorgeous. I love these flatbed Mazdas. And last of the night, rounding out our spooky season unboxing, we have the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser in both blue and yellow. Now, we chose these specifically for the Tri-5 Terror decal on the side. Definitely a gorgeous gasser, really nice details. They have the tinted windows that we love. Same thing with the yellow, absolutely gorgeous. Well, that brings us to the end of tonight's video. Thank you so much for joining us for our very first YouTube video and we wish you a safe and happy Halloween. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed hanging out with us and we'll see you next time.